All right. It's recording, yeah. Okay, everybody. Good morning. It's a kind of a rainy Sunday. The sun comes out, and then it goes away, and then it rains. It's one of those kind of bizarre days. So um, today, I'm on my way to the post office first. I need to take a look at um, uh, shipping some boxes uh, for the sale of some of Val's uh, uh, colored art. And I'm running into big issues. I remember that you used to be able to go on USPS, just put in the weight, put in the dimensions, put in the, the zip code, and you could print out a stamp uh, for anything. Uh, right down to uh, media mail and ground and all that stuff. So when I went to do that to today, they don't allow that anymore. You, uh, all they have is their priority. You can get a stamp for priority. They don't trust you with any other box. So um, I went to uh, a little while ago. I went to uh, uh, a post office and use their little computer kiosk thing that they have and try to uh, ship something first class or ground and uh, it wouldn't let me it would only let me send it priority which doubles the cost um, so the only way that you can ship it um, cheapest way is if you stand in line now that's ridiculous. I, I just want to ship these things uh, either ground or um, first class. I'm going to run there. I have a couple of boxes. I want that uh, I want to see how much they're going to charge me for them um, on the kiosk. See if they're going to allow me to use the measurements. It's Sunday, so I can't stand in line. All right, so since it's raining outside and uh, we're actually expecting some guests tonight since obviously it's uh, uh, the walking dead night, uh, I still have to do something. So I decided I was going to fix this cart in our kitchen. It's been, a, it's had issues for a long time and I sort of uh, just uh, engineered it together with uh, some clamps and stuff. And it worked fine until recently. It's wobbly now. So I gotta figure out why it's wobbly. Also the drawer is a little shaky. I'll check that out too. So I'm gonna pull all this out into the garage. Mess with that for a little while. So here's the problem, besides the, the broken leg that I have to glue back together, this has, uh, these wheels have a rubber grommet going around it, and it's coming off on a couple of the wheels. I don't know if I have um, wheels this size, I tend to cl uh, save things, but this particular type has is the push-in. And if I do, it's probably the screw-in type. So let me take a look. <laughs> so I'll check these for height. See if this is going to work. So, and maybe I can just screw it in. These are much nicer wheels. It's got a lock on it. Two of them have a lock on it. So, yeah, if I can get them to fit, I'm going to use these wheels and just discard these. All right, so here's my problem. These are the wheels that were on this cart, this kitchen cart. And um, they're falling apart. And here's a set that I actually just happen to have. And the difference being that this is a screw-in type, which is probably for a metal 
something metal. And this is a pressure fit. It comes with this plastic thing that it goes into and then pushes into a hole in the bottom of the cart. Since um, the it's too loose, was to my solution was to get uh, just a zip tie and then cut it into pieces just big enough to, I got just I need two pieces I discovered I'm gonna just put it in and then I can push it in that gives it enough pressure to stay in it doesn't need to be perfectly inside there so that's nice and tight and I just need to put it in the hole in the bottom of the cart. So right now I need to glue this back together. And I got a couple edges there apart. And what I'm going to do is just use wood glue. Every time Val gets these medications that need to be measured with one of these things, I always save these because they're great for getting glue in the spots that uh, are difficult to get to. There we go. Putting it into here. Glue everywhere! I don't know what kind of wood this is made out of. It's not, it was made in Honduras or someplace like that. But, uh, gotta get the glue into the crack. And the crack is pretty extensive. It goes all the way up to here. I'm trying to see if I can feed it in. The biggest concern is not to put too much pressure on this and just split this whole thing apart because I, I really don't want to do that. I just want to repair it. So I plan on putting this thing back into the kitchen today, so I want to make sure that I, I can put the wheel back on, put the new wheel on. They're all on, and that's the front, and that's where the locks are. Always got to make sure it's in the right place. But there it is. And that'll be dry tomorrow. Okay, guys, guess what? It's only been, what, three days, but I've managed to get Val up. Yay! Hi, guys! And the only reason he managed to get me up is because Kirsty was coming over. Because guess what? It's Sunday! And you all know what that means. It's walking, walking day time! <laughs> That's right! It's time for the new Walking Dead. But first, we're going to initiate Kirsty here with Rocky Horror Picture Show. She's never even heard of it. She's never heard of it. No, oh, no. no I know. It's, it's pathetic. <laughs> Write down in the comments below if you have never seen nor heard of Rocky Horror Picture Show. If you have... Leave a comment down below, one of your favorite lines from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's a classic! So, what'd you think of Rocky Horror Picture Show? That was a good movie. It's very upbeat. It's um, definitely not something everybody would like, but you know, it was a little crazy, but good. Can you see why it has a, a cult class? It's an occult classic. Yes, I can. It's got a definitely. certain following. Yes. yes. So it's 821 and we are waiting for The Walking Dead. Guys, I showed you my shirt earlier. Thanks to Kirsty. She brought it, <laughs> bought it for me. She also bought me this huge coloring book. That sucker is huge. It's got some weight to it, too. Yeah. Mm. These guys are nuts. I can't tell you what they've been doing. <laughs> or or what Angel's been doing. Same thing Kevin 
Ryan does. I think our introduction music should be Easy Street now. <laughs> and the world's so sweet. Oh my God. Here on Easy Street. <laughs> Watch it. We're going to get sued by the uh -oh. Walking Dead now. I was just serenading my Daryl. I, I see. I'm, I'm sure he appreciates it. So, what do you think of that particular episode? Um, it's m moving along kind of slow. It's moving along kind of slow so far. But, yeah. I know what happens by the end of this season. I just don't know why is it taking so long to get there? Because they had to make seven, <laughs> turn this into seven episodes, that's why. Was it seven? They have seven episodes, right? I think so. I seven or eight. I don't remember. Oh well. So, um, that's probably going to be it for tonight. So, I mean, I got a lot of editing to do. I did some weird stuff. So, why don't you do your thing? Um, I haven't done it in so long. Um, um, goodbye! I hope you liked something that you saw in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite, a like, no, a favorite, a share, and subscribe!